Hello and welcome to this screencast on the Applied Technology Digital Planning Tool. All the resources used here are available on our section of the JCT website. In this short screencast, I will show you how to use the Digital Planning Tool. I will be capturing the planning that was used in the design of the unit of learning that was experienced by teachers during our JCT cluster day one. Just a quick note, the JCT4 team has developed a digital version of its planning tool. This version is designed not to be a standalone document. Instead, it is used to capture the collaborative thinking that has gone into the planning process during the paper version of the planning process. We advise a photograph or scan of the paper version is attached to the digital file. Let's start with a quick reminder of the files that we can use. The planning tool with the learning outcomes, strands, elements and action verbs and the double diamond design process. You will find both of these tools on the JCT website. They are available in the Technologies folder, in CPD Workshops, in Apply Technology. Here is the Planning Tool, and here is the Double Diamond. This is the paper version of the planning that we are going to be capturing. Here is the digital version of this planning tool. This file includes spaces for text and images to be added. It also includes a couple of drop-down menus containing learning outcomes and action verbs. Now we will begin with the discover phase. This is where we have divergent thinking. We start by looking at student context. The first question we look at is age, stage and prior knowledge. We see this in the paper version here. The age is first year, the stage is September. Our experience is of green schools, recycling, sustainability, prototyping and making. And we know our students are creative and curious. They have experience of group work and they may also have some programming experience. We simply click into the text box and add our text. The next consideration was around what we want students to learn during this unit of learning. This is done while exploring the strands and elements and with learning outcomes in mind. We can see this in the paper version here. And to make this screencast a bit quicker, I have already filled in what we want students to focus on and exploring the strands and elements when choosing our possible learning outcomes. We now pause, reflect, and make decisions before we move into the define stage. This is where we narrowed our focus. Firstly, we identified learning outcomes to direct the key learning. Please note the drop down menu. All learning outcomes are available to select. In this file, you could select up to seven. This is not an indication that you should pick seven. In this unit, we have selected six. So in this case, we simply leave the bottom one blank. We can see the action verbs also. Explain, explore, consider, evaluate, refine, and justify. We will now select these here. The action verbs help us to frame the key learning and assessment. They will help guide us in planning the opportunities for students to demonstrate their learning. We can see these learning outcomes and action verbs in our paper version here. After this, we looked at the key learning that we want students to experience and how we will assess the learning. We then moved on to the develop stage. Here we looked at possible learning experiences and also how we will know they are learning, specifically related to the key learning experienced through the learning experiences. Finally, we moved on to the deliver stage. Of course, before we move on, we pause, reflect and make decisions. Then we looked at the specific methodologies and resources that we will support students with in experiencing the learning outcomes, while keeping the action verbs in mind. Now we move on to our last stage. This is where we reflect. This should be done throughout the unit as well as when it has been completed. This will help us in thinking about where we could go next or what we might need to change if we were to do this unit again. And here is our full document with the discover, define, develop, deliver and our reflection space. Don't forget, this digital version was just used to capture the rich collaborative planning done in the paper version. We hope you enjoyed watching this screencast and will perhaps use this digital tool to capture the thinking that has gone into planning of your units of learning. Don't forget to follow us for updates on Twitter at JCT4Ed.